event of the evening. Three years apart with the same height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Well, it seems like this is an annual stop for the MMA leader as we are back and now underway with live action from the United Center in the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois. All right, ready to go for round one. Here is the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. No UFC nerves for this guy. He has been a fast starter every step of the way inside the octagon. We've got to be mindful of the power, obviously, particularly early when Francis Ngannou is fresh. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. And lands a good shot. This guy's throwing early. All right, so here we go with round one, and you got to be mindful of those overhand punches if you're his opponent. You know, that one appeared to stun him. Good defense there. Nice jab. That one hurt. Oh, yeah, that looks a little good shot here. On his Back to his feet again. Amazing. He hurt him with that hook. He is rocked. He keeps finding a home for that shot. Oh, nice right hand. He hurt him. Huge oh, right shot. Again. We'll see if he can follow it up. Whoa. Whoa. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. And there comes the separation now. And there's some of that beautiful takedown defense by Dos Santos. Hook in the clinch there is good by Ngannou. First takedown attempt is there. on top. Now he secured side control. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Now he's in half guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. So he stuffs another takedown. Good takedown defense thus far in this fight. Switching stances here. Oh! Can he hang on? Look at this! Take down! Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Dos Santos' eyes closing up now. Not good for him. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, certainly looking at a 10-8 after that round, maybe even a 10-7, courtesy of the multiple knockdowns. Massive round there from Francis Ngannou. Complete total dominance, and man, did he put a beating on his opponent. Amazing that the fight wasn't stopped. And here, another clean shot lands, and another knockdown. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Let's All go. right, round two. Oh! Unbelievable. Hit him hard with that one. Oh, 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 huge right hand! hand. Well, Joe, Looks like he went for an armbar here. And he got out of the armbar. Oh, lands that punch. Excellent posture here. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Well, don't fix what's not broken. Wildly successful with the hook in the previous round, and as you saw there, going right back to it to great effect. Ngannou gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. Oh! oh attacked him! He's got him hurt here. Oh. He tagged him! Oh. Oh. He is hurt badly. He's just hanging on here right now. Oh! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Wow! Oh. Oh! Oh! And 
knockout strike here for the victory. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's look at that from a different camera. Check it out again. Boom! And he's out. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. We go inside the octagon.